This is the Cholo News Report for Saturday 15, June, 2019. An unnamed United States official claims that, just prior to the attack on two merchant vessels, an Iranian vessel launched a surface-to-air missile at MQ-9 Reaper drone in the vicinity of the attack. An additional MQ-9 Reaper is reported to have been shot down by Houthi rebels several days prior in the Red Sea. The Pentagon had tough words for Iran on Friday, as the United States continues to assert its claim that Tehran was responsible for the attack on the two oil tankers. In international waters after releasing video footage it says shows an Iranian patrol boat removing an unexploded mine from one of the vessel's hulls. We're making sure that General Mkhenzi and the Central Command has the resources and the support that they need to conduct their missions, Acting Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan said, adding that the United States continues to work on building an international consensus that Iran was behind the attack. After the United States withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal, it adopted a policy of maximum economic pressure and sent a carrier group to the region. The source said this Iranian retaliation is designed to show they can disrupt and push oil prices up. On Thursday, company officials said the vessel, which had been carrying methanol from Saudi Arabia to Singapore, was first hit by what appeared to be an artillery shell toward the stern, causing a fire in the engine room that crew members were able to extinguish. Three hours later, the ship was again attacked on the same side in the center of the hull, at which point the captain felt it was no longer safe, and ordered the crew to take to the lifeboats, officials said. The document said that after the explosion aboard the Kakuka Courageous, a Dutch ship answered its distress call and rescued the crew. It said the USS Bainbridge observed Iranian naval boats operating in the area in the hours after the explosions and later removing the unexploded mine from the side of the Kakuka Courageous. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani on Friday accused the United States of posing a serious threat to stability in the Middle East without referring directly to the attacks in the Gulf of Oman. Iran categorically rejects the United States' unfounded claim with regard to 13 June oil tanker incidents, and condemns it in the strongest possible terms, the statement said. Kyoto News Agency reports that during his visit to mediate between the U.S. and Iran, Japanese PM Shinzo Abe asked Iran to release American prisoners held by Iran, though the response is unclear to the press but Iran says it will not negotiate with the United States, rejecting Abe's bid to broker dialogue between the two countries, amid escalating tensions in the Middle East. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif accuses the Bdem. He expressly included Abe in this alleged conspiracy, underlining the gulf of mistrust the Japanese leader may have had to bridge in Tehran as a U.S. ally. Japan sought further information Friday about the attacks on two oil tankers, one of them, operated by a Tokyo-based company, near the Strait of Hormuz the previous day. All 21 Filipino crew members escaped in life rafts, and were rescued by a ship, heading to the United Arab Emirates. The Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, without ruling on the merits, orders U.S. District Judge Marsha Peckman. Demonstrators gather to protest U.S. President Donald Trump's announcement that he plans to reinstate a ban on transgender individuals from serving in any capacity in the U.S. military at the White House in Washington, U.S. July 26, 2017. The move marked an about-face from a landmark policy announced in 2016 by Democratic President Barack Obama, which let transgender people serve without fear of being discharged and receive medical care to transition genders.